Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Motherfucking Empowerment. Here we talk about consciousness, spiritual laws, and how to reach your fucking dreams. All right, so let's get this shit. Here in this video, we're going to talk about the game of life and how to play it. It's a book, The Game of Life and How to Play It. By Florence Kovulshin. And we're on the last chapter. I did not know it was the last chapter. I had to take breaks reading this chapter because it was so powerful. This this is the most powerful chapter of the book. It um I had to slow down to absorb everything that was that I was taking in. Because I know you gotta relax, you just gotta be chill. You can't be too too up too up about this information because you you can be. But wisdom tells us that we must be poised. We just enjoy the experience of life and God does everything else for us. Okay. Now, before we get into the chapter and the nuggets that Florence shares with us, ask yourself, are you ready to learn and apply? And two, are you ready to be the best version of yourself, the highest version of yourself? Okay, now that you've made that decision, let's get started. If you have not made the decision, go watch something else that makes you happy. Something that's making you feel good, okay? That's, that's what matters. To be in a state of joy, okay? State of joy, that's important. And uh, if you can't really learn, you can't accept, you can't give the idea can't give yourself the idea to learn and apply, then um, you're not going to learn and apply. And if you can't accept that you're going to be the highest version of a version of yourself, blah, 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 then you won't be. But if you do say it, every little thing that you say, this is what she talks about here. Every little, every little thing. Okay. So now those those of you who are here, welcome and let's get started. Okay. I'm gonna start with that um that quote she says. She says. Uh, things that are said very like uh, lazily happen lazily. If you say things with um, force, it happens by force. You see, you, you you see the manifestation, and it happens by force and happens. Up. My cats just like scared each other. They both saw each other and they scared each themselves. That happens. Um, forcefully, it happens forcefully and it doesn't look good. It, it doesn't look good, okay? Wow. So many nuggets. So many nuggets. I just found one right now. So here's a good statement you can make. Quote. When I ask the father for anything, I put my foot down and I say, Father, I'll take nothing less than I have asked for, but more. Okay. That's when you're asking the father for a certain thing. But this chapter is called Denials and Affirmations. Chapter 10, Denials and Affirmations. But it should have been called Divine Plan. Divine Plan. Why? Why? Because the affirmations that you want to make are ones that go back to the divine plan. Because in the, in the divine plan, as we talked about before, you have everything. You're rich, you're healthy. The perfect self-expression, the perfect version of yourself, okay? Now, always ask for more. That's why that quote was good. That quote was great, okay? Always ask for more. Because sometimes... When you work on your own desires, you limit yourself. But if you work with the desires of God, you, you have unlimited resources. Okay. And here's what she talks about in, in asking for things. Okay. Denials and affirmations, right? This chapter is about affirmations and um, den denials. So this is an, uh, the way you make an affirmation. You give thanks for it. You give thanks that it's already here. Quote. Every man has within himself a nugget. It is his consciousness of gold, of opulence, 
which brings riches into his life. In making his demands, man begins at his journey's end. That is, he declares he already received. Before ye call, I shall answer. End quote. So, as you affirm something, you give thanks to it. You give thanks that you already received it. You don't say, you don't supplicate and you don't plead, okay? She uses the old term. She's from the early 1900s. Supplicate means like emotionally ask for something. You just give thanks, okay? You don't supplicate. You you don't beg. You just give thanks. You give thanks for the thing that you want. I'm grateful. I'm always safe. I'm grateful. I have a, more than enough money. And money comes to me from unexpected places. Um, and from multiple sources. So you, you're not thinking it's coming from a certain place, right? It's coming from anywhere. I'm grateful. I'm healthy. I'm grateful. I'm sober. I'm grateful. I am happy. So you're assuming these things. You're not asking for them. You're assuming them. Okay. And as you assume them, okay, you grab them. You're taking them into a statement. I have this. then it will be, okay? It will be. And you got to do it repeatedly. Quote, continually affirming establishes the belief in the subconscious mind. Or the subconscious. She just writes subconscious. I, I added mine. Quote, continually affirming establishes the belief in the subconscious. It would not be necessary to make an affirmation more than once if one had perfect faith. One should not plead or supplicate, but give thanks repeatedly that he has received or she has received, all right? She gives a quote, and I want to share this because it, it's very important. It, it'll help you with manifesting. Quote, the desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose. Okay, the desert shall rejoice and blossom and blossom as a rose. The desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. Okay, I forgot the in the last um, <laughs> quote that I said, I forgot the, but look. Let's continue. She says it beautifully. This rejoicing, which is yet in the desert, parentheses, state of consciousness, opens the way for release. The Lord's player is in the form of command and demand. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trash. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And ends in praise. For thine is the kingdom of and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay. Concerning the works of my hands, command ye me. So prayer is command and, and demand, praise and thanksgiving. Okay. So you're commanding and you're giving praise and thanksgiving. This is why I said when I wasn't locked up in prison, I would give acknowledgement by saying that our father... Okay, and praise, that's an acknowledgement and praise, and then I'll give thanks for the day, and then I would uh, see the things that I wanted. I would just visualize them because I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to be in prison. So I would see the things that I wanted. I, I would see the beautiful things. And my mind is what got me there. My mind is what got me there. So what were the, the thoughts that I had. Um, so whatever you hold in your mind, you will create. You can always change the, the negative thoughts and negative images by saying an affirmation to the opposite of, of what that is okay so say that over over and over and over again continually affirming establishes a belief in the subconscious continually affirming okay i could just end the video there okay because that's the that's that's the main thing um and denials and affirmations okay we talk, we're still talking about denials if you see it then if you see something that you don't like you must affirm that that it, it is not real like this this is one uh a treatment she um she made for a man because a man wanted to get healthy. So she said, hey, can you say a prayer for me or a treatment for me? So she said this, quote, I deny this appearance of disease. It is unreal. Therefore, cannot register in his consciousness. This man is a perfect idea and divine mind, pure substance, expressing perfection. Okay. So a, a, a quote that you can use is this one. Quote, I desire only that which God desires for me. End quote. That's a divine plan. And when you do things... By the divine, you get abundance. You get everything you've ever desired. You live heaven on earth. Because it is what you truly desire. And you have it. And you manifest it. What you truly desire. 
That's heaven on earth. And, and this is what I want to share. What she says at the end. Quote, all power is given man through right thinking to bring his heaven upon his earth. And this is the goal of the game of life. Okay, that's the goal. And here are the rules, right? It is your goal to bring heaven on earth. Your desires to manifest. Your desires to manifest. Your desires to manifest. Your desires are what God wants for you. Your desires are what God wants for you. Your desires are what God wants for you. And it is linked to your heart, to your desire. So, so listen to your heart, okay? And then, as you manifest and you assume them, giving praise and giving thanks, okay? Giving praise and giving thanks, they will manifest, okay? And you, see, you save them as of now, okay? I'm going to say that quote again, all right? The desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose. The rejoicing is yet in the desert, the state of consciousness. Okay. The rejoicing, which is in the desert, opens the way for the release. Okay. Just giving things now in your consciousness bring, opens the way for the release. It's that simple, but we have to break our old ways of thinking and acting and being so that we can create this new one of being grateful. Okay. Being grateful. And giving praise to God, okay? Okay, my, my battery is running low. <laughs> so here are the rules. Quote, the simple rules are fearless faith, non-resistance, and love. May each reader be now freed from that thing which has held him in bondage through the ages, standing between him and his own. And know the truth which makes him free. Free to fulfill his destiny, to bring the manifestation of, of the divine design of his life. Health, wealth, love, and perfect self-expression. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. End quote. That was her words. Florence Scovelshin. And I, I'm grateful for her. One time I was so, like, I was so, just like, amazed by her work and i said like oh man like that sucks that you're not here with us no more and then i heard a voice right away i'm still here and and then she said you have my works in in your hands my words are still here my words are with you i am here with you in spirit because i heard her and i'm with you physically i'm still with you and she's still with us now you're hearing this physically because you know we're, we're in the physical you're hearing this and so She's still with us, okay? She's still with us, so. There's another whole world on the other side, which um, we are there as well. It's just that we, we're living the physical, okay? The main thing is that, of this chapter, is that with denials, you deny them and you affirm the divine plan, okay? You, diver you affirm what you want, okay? I deny lack, I deny sickness, the opposite of what? Well, health, wealth, love, and happiness is. Okay, perfect self-expression. You know, the perfect self has everything you will desire. Your perfect self has everything you desire. Your perfect self has everything you desire. Okay, so you can deny things that, that happen physically because you know that, you know the truth. You know what you have. See, that's, how, that's why the denials are so important. And it was so, it was put in the end. Because you need to have the understanding, the spiritual understanding of, to actually implement this and manifest your divine design, your desires. Divine desire, they kind of sound similar. And then affirmation. Affirmation should be for more. Don't limit yourself, okay? You give thanks, okay? Give thanks. Do not deny Okay, more. Make sure you add more. I want this or more. I will not accept anything less than this or more. Like the the story that's in there. And there's a story of um of where uh, a man made an affirmation. She, he wanted six hundred dollars, but he ended up getting six hundred dollars. But he should have put put an affirmation where he would get more because they told him, "Oh, you were about to get more, but then we just gave you six hundred. Okay, in the story, he's like, "Dang." And then Florence tells him, like, you should have asked for more. It's because the affirmation was limiting. You got to always put it on limited. Here's the thing that I just got from sharing this with you is make sure that the 
affirmation is unlimited, okay? Make sure it brings in more. It's no limit to it, okay? I want to earn, you know, um, you say, or no, you affirm it, giving things. I'm grateful I'm earning over $1 million a day in net income. I am grateful, okay? Well, this or more, okay? I'm grateful I'm earning this amount of money. This or more, God, thank you. That's how you end your affirmations. This or something better, because then you allow the divine design to come in into your life, okay? The divine design. Anyway, I shared a quote. Here's the quote for the divine design. I desire only that which God desires for me. Okay. That is a powerful one. And I'm going to read what Florence said. When a man can say, I desire only that which God desires for me, his false desires fade from his consciousness. And a new set of blueprints is given him by the master architect, the God within. God's plan for each man transcends the limitation of the reasoning mind and is always... And is always a square of life containing health, wealth, love, and perfect self-expression. Many a man is building for himself in imagination a bungalow when he should be building a palace. Boom! Because when you're with God and you understand the spiritual laws, you, you don't have limits. You have anything you desire. And the divine design is that. What you desire. So if you, if you don't have this understanding of the spirit, then you're building yourself a bungalow, a shed, when you should be building yourself a mansion, a beautiful mansion, multiple mansions. All right. So I'm grateful for you being here. Let's do some visualizing. Take a deep breath. Relax your arms, your legs, your hands, your jaw, your back, your shoulders, relax them. Close your eyes, see, see the thing that you want. And take another deep breath, stay relaxed. Ask yourself, ask yourself how do you feel now that you have your, your desire. Hold that feeling. And now give thanks. Praise. Thank you, God, universe, whatever you want to call it. You could give thanks whichever way you want. This is up to you. You can even change the affirmations that I've said. Remember, you can change them to benefit you to, so that it resonates with you. It gives you relief, okay? A sense of relief. That's what all we're, that's all we're trying to get is relief and a sense, a sense of relief in all things be at, to be at peace. So that's why I said before, peace is one of the most ineffable things that I can even describe. When you have peace, you have everything. And so we gave praise, like she said, give thanks and say, now this or something more. I will not accept God, God, thank you for this. I will accept nothing less than this or something more. I have so many hairs because of my cats. They're flying everywhere. I'm sure you, you probably can't see them because they're so so thin and so fine. Um, so you can't see them. But it is yours already. Remember the rules. I remember one. <laughs> I gotta, gotta look back in the book. It's so simple. Just the simple rules are fearless faith, fearless faith. Being, having faith results to being poised. Be poised. Fearless faith. Fearless. No fear. No ounce of fear. Be poised. Non-resistance. Don't force it. Don't be like supplicating. No. Don't be begging. Uh, give it to me, God. Just affirm it. Thank you. I got it. Okay. Do not supplicate. Affirm. 
Affirmation is a statement. Create a statement that you have it. And love. Know that everything is love. Everything around you is love. Manifest. Everything is God. Everything in the substance, in its substance is God. Okay. I hope you like this one. I hope you liked it. Um, this is, we're done. This is the end of the book. The next book is going to be um, Your Invisible Power by another woman, powerful woman, Genevieve Biran. Okay. It's a great book. Powerful book, Jennifer B. Rand. She's the only student, the only official student of Thomas Troward. Okay. So if this resonated, make sure to like it. If you feel like liking it, if you feel like commenting, like it, comment it. If you feel like subscribing, subscribe. Okay. I love you. God is with you. The universe, the creator, whatever you want to call it. You know, universal mind is with you. You are loved. You are protected. You have abundance. You are the divine design. You are the best version of yourself. Until next time, I love you. You are love. And you are loved. Peace.